Welcome guys to the class style. I am Sharon and I'm always happy to be in your company. And guys, today we have a fun project from my house to yours. So stick around and you will see in a minute. So guys, I am going to show you how to reupholster an outdoor cushion. It is not for me, it's for someone else. And my materials and tools needed is outdoor fabric, scissors, pliers, air staple gun, and compressor and I have my lovely fabric here and the fabric choices are polyester outdoor fabric or polyacrylic fabric and I'm using some umbrella very durable outdoor fabric and I have a four inch foam four inches is pretty thick for the cushion but I mean it's outdoor are you gonna be getting a lot of use and it these foam tend to soften quite a bit and also because it's outdoor you you can put a protective um piece on before you put this umbrella fabric to protect it from rain but this particular one is not going to be getting a, um, any rain at all because it's going to be under a sheet now they ha already had the wood cut out We're using plywood it's a half inch thick plywood and i'm putting the foam on it everything was cut by them and just brought to me i am using my adhesive on the ply and I'm just resting the foam on top of it and it's going to be stuck nicely on it and I'm, I already measured the cushion and the depth and how much is going on the underside and I am cutting it I am going to be covering two seats and two back pieces so I'm starting with the back piece first and the back piece I will be using the actual poly fiber and I am so happy to be sharing with you my air compressor and I am so psyched to be using this once again since my stapler machine went quite a bit and I did not get to use my air compressor for quite a while I have bought a new air stapler and I have some um, staples here so that's what we're gonna be using here today and the fabric you will notice it's a bit longer you pull to the center first and make sure all the centers are secured now this is just a securing stapler if it's too tight when you're finished you can also remove it um, I left a lot on the inside that's not a problem normally you would leave like about two to two and a half inches and what I do is I pull at a 45 degree angle and staple going back to the center this eliminates these tucks and unsightly little pleats that you get on your cushion so you pull at a 45 degree angle and you staple back to the center and you get a smooth finish all the time now when you have secured all the centers I use a hammer sometimes because some of these staples tend to push up now you want to secure the corners now you pull tightly on the corner just put a holding staple or two sometimes I put two or three and cut off that excess because sometimes it gets too bulky on the inside and then you staple fold and staple down and you get a neat finish now guys, I am so happy that we are doing a power up collaboration once again. And our lovely host, Sarah from Can Sarah DIY it, and the lovely Z Broke Girl Aesthetic. And all the links to their channel is gonna be in our description box as well as the playlist. So you can head across and check out all the lovely participants who are participating in this collaboration and guys there is a giveaway a $25 gift giveaway for the winner who says the secret word so you have to visit each um one of the ladies channels and say their secret word and you may just be a winner so now we are on to the bigger cushion and I am just folding the sides and stapling and securing. Now, the only difference with the bottom one, I'm going to be pleating this one. Now, remember, cut off those excess, cut at an angle on your corners to eliminate that bulkiness that you would get on the inside here. 
you can take down as much as you want to if you find it's way too bulky and you see you get a smooth finish there now for the bottom they wanted some pleats to the front so i'm just doing like about two pleats on either edges and it makes it look very nice so guys i hope you are enjoying this reupholstering piece and i am so psyched yet like i said to use my air compressor it's a very heavy machinery and it can do a lot of things it can also blow up your um your beds the you, you can put air in your tires and a lot of other stuff that you can do with it but you still have to be very careful because it sends out a lot of air and you still have to be very cautious when you're using that machinery also with the stapler i am it's finished here so i'm going to reload it and i'm happy so i'm going to show you how you load it now this has a protective hook on the side and you insert the staples in it and if you don't hook it back it flips back out like that so that's why you have to secure that in place and you do not aim this thing at your face guys because this sends out staples like crazy so guys kind of shine away from air compressor and staple guns when i am doing like framing and so on i have always wanted a mitre so and that is a very handy tool that anyone should get woman or men and it is very helpful when you are doing a lot of jobs that requires a um, neat mitering to eliminate the stress of having to measure and cut at angles and so on and my secret word is mitre so so remember to do put that word in the description box and then everyone else's on the playlist so that you can have a chance to win that $25 gift card so I'm now putting the backing on it and it doesn't require a lot of staples but I put them anyway and look at this neat finish that you get and with the top back piece guys I use the same color fabric because um, if the chair is not facing the wall you're gonna be seeing that top at the back because we're going to be doing something to the chair also now this is a chair that I have to eventually redo for my uh, uh, my daughter but she, they were having some guests over and we decided just to do a quick fix so I am going to pull out all this basket weave that is becoming undone for some reason this thing just started to fall apart this is not I wouldn't it's like about two years or could be less and i don't understand how this is falling apart so we're going to be cutting it away and trying to save the bottom part of it until i am ready to redo the whole chair and i'm going to take you along for that video with me so i'm just pulling everything off i'm leaving the edging around the chairs so remember guys to check out that playlist to visit all the participant channel and do like subscribe and share to the channel and hope you enjoy yourself so what i'm doing with the pieces at the back i'm just tucking them in because this part is going to be stay staying and we are going to use a staple on that and that's my grandson there so i'm at my daughter's home we are just trying to finish this before um evening time so that when her visitors come you know the chair is going to be ready so i'm just tucking it in like i say and you know this is just a quick easy fix and i know it's going to look really lovely so i was very happy to share with you my powerful power air compressor and this is one of the big bigger air compressors and this it turned out so lovely so check out how the cushions look the top part and the bottom and remember I said I will show you how I do the chairs in a later video but let me know what you think guys how you find it's looking if you find it looks very beautiful so I am happy to have you in my company as always to like subscribe and share 
and guys do check out the host and co-host channels and i'll catch you later bye guys